Are you intrigued by global power plays? Geopolitical importance. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands hold significant geopolitical importance due to their strategic location at the confluence of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Situated at the entrance of the Malacca Straits, one of the busiest shipping lanes globally, the islands control vital maritime routes used by over 60,000 commercial vessels annually. This makes them a crucial asset in monitoring and securing the Indian Ocean region IOR, and counterbalancing China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific. The island's proximity to Southeast Asian nations, only 22 nautical miles from Myanmar and 90 nautical miles from Indonesia, further enhances their strategic value. India's latest move could be a game-changer. Sitting at the entrance of the Malacca Straits, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands hold a strategic advantage. India is investing a whopping $9 billion to transform these islands into a bustling shipping hub and a premier tourist destination. But why now? This archipelago is not just a tropical paradise. It controls critical maritime routes, particularly the Malacca Straits, one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. Strengthening its presence here, India aims to ensure stability in the Indo-Pacific region. And it's not going solo. Japan has pitched in too, with about $133 million for a clean energy project, set to power the islands by February 2024. India's strategic development of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a $9 billion project in the spotlight. India is set to transform the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, situated at the entrance of the Malacca Straits, a critical checkpoint connecting the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean into a shipping hub and tourist destination. This $9 billion project aims to counterbalance China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific region. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, with only 37 of its 572 islands inhabited, have become increasingly important in India's strategy against Chinese naval presence in the Indian Ocean. Chinese submarines must surface in the narrow Malacca Strait, and the island's strategic location makes them crucial for security measures. India established its first tri-service command on these islands, after recognizing their vulnerability during the Kargil War. The islands are located at the confluence of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The northernmost point is just 22 nautical miles from Myanmar, and the southernmost point is 90 nautical miles from Indonesia. They control vital maritime routes, including the Bay of Bengal and the 6 and 10 degree channels used by over 60,000 commercial vessels annually. A transshipment hub is planned for Campbell Bay, close to the Malacca Strait, linking Europe, Africa and Asia. India's plan includes the holistic development of Great Nicobar Island, unveiled by Niti Ayog in 2021. This RS-72,000 crore project involves constructing an international transshipment terminal, an international airport, a power plant, and a township overseen by the Andaman and Nicobar Islands Integrated Development Corporation, Ani Itkyo. However, environmentalists have raised concerns about the project's impact on the region's fragile ecosystem, which is home to endangered species like the giant leatherback turtle and the Nicobar crab-eating macaque. The project would also affect the local Shompen and Nicobarese tribes, with plans to bring nearly 400,000 people to the islands over 30 years, requiring the felling of 8.5 lakh trees in the prehistoric rainforests. Militarily, India is enhancing its presence on the islands. The Indian Navy is extending runways at Shibpur, INS Kahasa, and Campbell Bay, INS Baas to support larger aircraft. The islands already host Sukhoi Su-30MKI and Jaguar maritime fighter jets, as well as Poseidon P-8I submarine hunters. Former Indian Navy Chief Admiral D.K. Joshi, appointed as the Lieutenant Governor of the Islands in 2017, emphasized the need to bolster security and economic potential. The Andaman and Nicobar Command conducts joint maritime exercises like Simbex, with Singapore and Milan, the region's largest naval exercise. Recently, 
India inaugurated the Chennai Andaman and Nicobar undersea internet cable to provide high-speed internet to the islands. Internationally, the Quad countries, India, Japan, Australia and the US, and France, are collaborating to develop the islands as a countermeasure to China's regional presence. India plans to install the Japan-US Fishhook Sound Surveillance System, SOSIS, to track submarines, enhancing intelligence sharing with Japan, the UK, and Australia. Japan, recognizing the strategic importance of the islands, has also committed to providing $133 million for a renewable energy project in the Andamans, expected to be completed by February 2024. This ambitious development of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands underscores India's efforts to maintain a stable and secure Indo-Pacific region amidst growing Chinese naval activities. History The history of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is rich and varied. Ancient times, the islands were inhabited by indigenous tribes, including the Great Andamanese, Onge, Jawa, and Sentinelis in the Andamans, and the Nicobaris and Champagne in the Nicobars. Colonial Era The British colonized the islands in the 19th century, establishing a penal colony in Port Blair in 1858 to house Indian freedom fighters and criminals. The Cellular Jail, also known as Kalapani, became infamous for its harsh conditions and treatment of prisoners. World War II. During World War II, the Japanese occupied the islands from 1942 to 1945, a period marked by significant hardship for the local population. The British regained control after the war. Post-independence. Following India's independence in 1947, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands became a Union Territory of India in 1956 geographical beauty and landscape. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are renowned for their stunning natural beauty and diverse ecosystems, beaches and coral reefs. The islands boast pristine beaches with white sand and clear turquoise waters, such as Radhanagar Beach on Havelock Island, often ranked among the best in the world. The coral reefs are teeming with marine life, making the islands a popular destination for snorkeling and diving. Rainforests and wildlife. The islands are covered in dense rainforests that host a variety of flora and fauna, many of which are endemic. Notable species include the saltwater crocodile, the Andaman wild pig, and numerous bird species like the Nicobar pigeon. Volcanoes. The Andaman Islands are home to Barren Island, India's only active volcano and the dormant Narcondum volcano. Mangroves and wetlands. The coastal areas feature extensive mangrove forests and wetlands, which provide critical habitats for various species and play a vital role in protecting the coastline from erosion. Cultural diversity. The islands are a melting pot of cultures, influenced by settlers from mainland India and the indigenous tribes. This cultural diversity is reflected in the island's festivals, cuisine, and languages. Strategic military presence. Given their strategic importance, India has established significant military infrastructure on the islands, including naval bases, airstrips, and surveillance systems. This presence is crucial for monitoring maritime traffic and ensuring the security of the region. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, with their unique blend of strategic importance, historical significance, natural beauty and cultural diversity continue to play a vital role in India's geopolitical and defense strategies in the Indo-Pacific region. Please subscribe and stay tuned as we monitor how this project unfolds and its implications for regional geopolitics. India's strategic foresight might just set the new course for the Indo-Pacific.